I personally don't believe that because oh. everyone's in Christ. Through the resurrection, everyone was born from above. So everyone's included in Christ. So that might have been true before the cross, but post the cross, everyone is now in Christ and everyone has been born from above. So I don't see that there are those there are those who don't know they're in Christ and wouldn't go to the father because they don't have a realization of their position as sons of God. And there are those who do have that revelation. But from my perspective, what Jesus did on the cross was reconciling the whole cosmos to himself, not just some. That view is a view which is almost either it's a limited atonement view. So or it's an Arminian view is only those who actually come and accept what Jesus has done actually are then born again after they accept it which is a old covenant works based mentality rather than a grace mentality because essentially what jesus did was reconcile the cosmos to himself and that was not something that required us to do anything he did it all he finished the work before we have to do anything so he's already done it. So when Jesus breathed into the disciples, they were representatives of that new resurrected, born from above new creation. The reality is most people haven't realized it yet. So I don't believe in an evangelical view of salvation, salvation as we do something and then we're saved. I believe we've been saved and we realize that we're already saved. Otherwise, it's works based. So I, I don't believe that that is a correct view of only those in Christ, assuming there are some outside of Christ. I would say only those who know they're in Christ would access the Father. Because if you didn't That's know it. you were in Christ, you wouldn't access the Father, would you? So uh -huh. if, it may just be semantics. But I would say that he's coming from a very evangelical perspective of, Mm. born again when you pray a prayer where well, i would say no you might pray a prayer that brings a realization that of all what you already are but it doesn't happen after you do something it's already happened when jesus did what he did well before the cross there were mm -hmm. all sorts of people who were not following god and Although God hasn't changed, although the father hasn't changed towards his creation and towards all people, mm. Jesus came to essentially rescue us or get restore our ability to know who we actually are. And we'd lost that ability through walking in independence. Mm. We, we had amnesia effect <coughs> to who we really are. And Jesus came to unveil and reveal who we really are. So we can know that. And of course, it says in Corinthians that you can't really understand anything spiritually unless it's in the spirit. So if our spirit was dead, how would we ever, ever come to a point where we wanted to accept Jesus? But if our spirit is alive and able to enter into what that relationship that God has already provided for us, then it comes after realization. So there's a different view when you come to evangelical view of salvation is all based on what we do. And then God does something. If we do something, I believe God's already done it. The work's already finished and we enter into what has already been done by realization of that. But, you know, without actually uh, sort of knowing what, he, you know, what he's actually saying, it's difficult to quote someone yeah. else but personally you know i don't believe some are in christ and some are outside of christ some know they're right. in christ and some don't know they're in christ if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much